I'll talk in politics. Former Minister of Information and Communication, Frank Weke Jr., has dumped the People's Democratic Party for the All Progressives Grand Alliance, ABGA, <coughs> excuse me, in Enugu State. Dr. Nweke served under former President, uh, President Ulushago Abasanja from 2003 to 2007 and is one of the pioneer members of the PDP. Bam Dilea Jai reports. Political activities in Enugu State are slowly building up and various political parties, interest groups are now consulting. Even though Enugu State has been governed by the PDP since 1999, the oppositions are not resting as it is ready to rest to power out of the hands of the PDP. One of the moves towards achieving this is the defection of the former Minister of Information and Communication to the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA. So, the founding philosophy of ABGA is therefore anchored on the egalitarian principles of fairness equity, justice, being our brothers and sisters keepers, and giving everyone a sense of belonging, all of which are important components of the Igbo worldview. Dr. Nweke says he has concluded his new party registration for what local government and now to the state. We have decided to move not for lack of trying, but because of the insincerity of this party at almost uh, every level. And so uh, that is the reason why I decided to join um, ABGA today. He believes his background and sentiment around ABGA will bring about quality leadership in the party. Elsewhere, the youth of Enugu State have challenged young individuals who want to participate in the forthcoming election to throw their heart in the ring. The youth group advocates for sound reasoning to prevail by engaging and mirror the aspirant achievement before joining politics. Uh, so far, we've been able to have uh, a lot of young people who are getting involved in the political system. We have people who are already buying forms, you know, to vie for the upcoming election. But most importantly, we've also been engaging, you know, different stakeholders across party lines, you know, to make sure that they give opportunity not just for youths, okay, but for people who have the capacity. This is an awakening call to our young persons to put their destiny into their hands. We've always had that. Uh, the, the, the youths are the leaders of tomorrow, and that tomorrow doesn't seem to be coming. So young persons must first take responsibility for their future and collectively for the future of the nation. They cautioned that the youth should not be used as instrument of election mark practices. It remains to be seen what difference the 2023 election will look like as different interest groups are building consensus to enable them to present their best for the general election. TVC News Enugu. Senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District, Olura Mitinumbo, has restated her commitment towards making life better for her constituents uh, through sustainable empowerment drive. She said this during the presentation of mini buses to community heads within the district. Abimbola Agbebi reports. That marks the beginning of another phase of empowerment initiative, the third of its kind, aimed at helping people overcome economic hardship. It's the official presentation of mini buses, popularly known as Kurokwe, to community leaders within the area. It's a brainchild of Senator Olure Mitsunubu Lomeka representing the district at the National Assembly. The initiative, which kicked off on the 16th of January 2021, has had over 100 traditional leaders within the district as beneficiaries of the gesture. I really appreciate her and I want to thank her once more that may Almighty Allah continue to replace our post with number of them. Ma has been doing a lot of empowerment for the people within the senatorial district. Uh, skill acquisitions, training people for so for two weeks, and at the end of the day, at the end of the training, it gives them a startup. Today is um, there are cars, vehicles for them. They should use them judiciously to earn income or livings for themselves. You can see this district is calm, and mean meaning that they have been turned over of several empowerment are yielded to wealth creation and empowerment and people becoming independent of themselves. It shows that she's very you know, familiar with the grassroots. Uh, she's working with the grassroots to mobilize and galvanize you know, what 
uh, it is necessary to develop the community. Uh, you know, and whoever that is doing that for you, uh, trying to support you in what you do, is a life giver. So we will continue to appreciate her for that. Happening at a time when Muslims all over the world are observing the Ramadan fast, Remy Tinubu urged Nigerians to be more prayerful for the country at this time. What I've done today is out of love and compassion for you know, others. Some people are there that they have more than the others. But you that have more than the others should do for the people who don't have. But everybody can give something to someone. What I can give them is to really have something to do for a lifetime. And you can see that Bale Gede Gede attested to it. They were the first batch. He's bought three others. So if they do it judiciously well, you know, definitely they will be employers of labor. Amidst commendations for the federal lawmaker, the beneficiaries were urged to put the resources to good use. Abimbola Agbibi, TVC News, Lagos. Well, many of the world's estimated 2 billion Muslims have started fasting in Ramadan. The faithful will abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset for, for 29 to 30 days as an act of worship and to strengthen their relationship with God. Senior correspondent Adid Doja Salam Adini attended the Lagos State Government pre-Ramadan prayer for this year. <laughs> The new moon sighting marks the start of the ninth month in the Islamic calendar. Ramadan is the time for spiritual cleansing through fervent prayers and good deeds. It is the tradition of the Lagos State Government to commence the holy month with prayers. It started with prayer for Nigeria. Still on the worsening insecurity in the country, the deputy governor also wants faithful to use the holy month in praying for a peaceful Nigeria. Somebody left his house to say, I'm going to kill somebody. Imagine that mindset. So that's why we have to intervene in all spheres, you know. Parents have to take care of their wives, have to take care of their husband, husband has to take care of their wives, and so on and so forth. I implore myself and all the Muslim Huma to pray for this country so that we have peace, so that the spirit of shaitan doesn't take over our land. All these killings, kidnappings, and so on, so that we pray that Almighty Allah take control of our country and bring peace and happiness, because without it, really, nothing can happen. Ramadan holds greater importance as it is the first time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the whole Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on one of the last ten nights of the month known as the Night of Power. The significance of this month is for us to, to be of good character, to help each other, to help our fellow Muslims, not even non-Muslims at this month. Some will be fasting without anything for them to eat. So we have that responsibility to make sure that they feel as we feel. So the month of Ramadan is a month of peace, month of you know, selfless service to, to humanity. Fasting during Ramadan is obligatory. Exemptions are made for children, pregnant women, nursing mothers, and those who are ill or traveling. Adedoja Salam Adeniyi, TVC News, Lagos.